Bruno Fernandes. I love you. I really, really love you. Man United 3, Liverpool 2, through to the next round of the FA Cup. And Bruno was the man that made all the difference in what was a very entertaining game for a neutral. A game in which I think it showed all the positives that United have had this season. But all the negatives all wrapped up in the same game. But Bruno was the man who came off the bench. Came on for Donny van der Beek. And the man that made the difference with a world-class free kick. A world-class goal. And what a player he is. You cannot underestimate how important, how much of an impact he has had on this Manchester United team. When he's on the pitch, we are a different beast altogether. The belief just goes through the roof when Bruno Fernandes is on the pitch. And he, he made the difference. And 3-2, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool looking like poor champions. There was a point in that game, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour, where they really dominated us. And they didn't turn it into a victory. It was, they, they had the lead at the start. A good goal from Salah. Don't know what Lindelof was really doing. 1-0 Liverpool. But we responded brilliantly. Rashford with a fantastic ball to Greenwood. And Greenwood, a player who hadn't scored in 10 games, scoring with supposedly his weaker foot, firing it into the side netting. And then Greenwood returned the favour in the second half. His ball to Rashford. Rashford finishing clinically. 2-1 United. And we took our foot off the gas a little bit. Let's be honest. Uh, Liverpool... They scored their second goal because of another defensive mistake for me. And that's what I mean when I said in this game, we saw all the best bits of United this season. And we saw all the worst bits. Because the best bits are certainly our, our free-flowing, a counter-attacking football. Bruno fucking Fernandes. Edison Cavani. Lots of great football. Great movement. Could have had some more goals as well. Finished 3-2, but Cavani could crack in the post. But as good as all those great bits are... The bad bits are United defending. And United playing out from the back with the ball. We're just so shit at it. They shouldn't have had that second goal. We gave it to them. And I think the first goal, you, you, I think Lindelof was certainly at fault. I think his position, he was facing the wrong way when Salah was behind him. That was just poor from him. But it was a good goal from Liverpool in that sense. But we are the architects of our own problems, I think, when they come on us. But it's, for me now, there's something that has to be said about United coming from behind to win a game. When Fergie, when Fergie was United manager and when Fergie was boss, everybody knew that United could not be written off in any game, no matter what was happening, if there was 10 minutes remaining. United always had the ability to come with those late goals. And we did it so often that it wasn't a coincidence. It was just a habit. It was just, it was just part of that United team. And for me now, I've seen it on so many different occasions against so many different teams in so many different ways. United, when we're 1-0 down, we cannot be written off anymore. There's a new belief in this team that I think has been inspired by Bruno Fernandes and has been steered by Bruno Fernandes. That it's, just, it's not... A coincidence anymore it's a habit and it's the sort of habit that you want to build the habit you don't want to build is being crap for the first 20 minutes of games and that cropped up a little bit today I wouldn't say we were crap but we we had possession but it wasn't really threatening that much and then Liverpool punished us and Bruno said it when he I think it is a pre-match interview with uh, Gary Lineker on the BBC saying that's a habit that we have to stop so that's what I'm saying when we've seen the, the, the best and the worst of United this season in that game. The best being those goals and Bruno Fernandes and the worst being those defensive errors that just seem to keep coming up. And for me, I'm sorry, but Eric Bai over Victor Lindelof any day of the week. He should be starting alongside Maguire, my opinion. Luke Shaw, wow, his form has been sensational for a while. And again, in that first half, I think you're seeing the best of Luke Shaw that we've seen since uh, maybe his partnership with Memphis Depay down the left before his injury that he got against PSV. Luke Shaw overlapping runs, good positioning, crosses, three great corners and three a couple of decent crosses as well. Luke Shaw has revolutionised how we look down the left and for goodness sake can we never play Marcus Rashford on the right hand side again. He's so much better and so much more effective on the left and those two as a partnership today Liverpool could not stop them. But it was Bruno Fernandes who I think should take the headlines. And, well, look, Donny van der Beek, he got the start that he deserved because he's been kind of cast into the shadows and I think he's a little bit unfortunate with the timing of Paul Pogba's fantastic form and the fact that Bruno Fernandes is undroppable. Those two together mean that Bruno, sorry, Bruno, Donny, sorry, has struggled for time. Uh, today, he, the game seemed to pass Donny by a little bit. I don't know whether he's, well, I know he's certainly a little bit slower than, than Bruno Fernandes, but... Every time he received the ball, he's very quick at passing it off and keeping the ball moving and not really... That's, I would say, a problem of Paul Pogba's game in central midfield is he does get caught on the ball too often. And it happened a couple of times today, but Pogba, his defensive work rate is so much better than it was, or it has been for a long time. And I think he, he recovered in that sense. But Donny, 
I think he'll be happy enough with that performance. It wasn't it wasn't one that's going to... It, and I don't really think it mattered how he played. He's not going to force Pogba out of the team. He's not going to force Bruno out of the team. It's just they're playing so well when United are top of the league. And we're now in, what is it, the fourth round, fifth round of the FA Cup. But we've just gone and fucking done it against Liverpool. Played them twice within a week. A nil-nil in the Premier League. That was a, a an edgy game. A game where teams were nervous. And I personally still feel it was an opportunity lost. But I understood the power and the importance of that point as well. But that today there. 1-0 down to 2-1 up. The disappointment of the equaliser, but to come back out and Bruno Fernandes to do that on the man, he, he, he's just what a fucking player, man. It, it, it goes to show that, certain, and this, I think Bruno Fernandes' impact at United is why people get so damn excited about the transfer window because you know that if you do sign the right player, that things can just change because of one player. Now, of course, there aren't that many Bruno Fernandes about in world football, and everybody else is. Pissed off they didn't sign him. But we did. And he's done it again. A game where United needed somebody to inspire them in that last 20 minutes. But as I said, when he comes on, the belief of the team goes through the damn roof. He's instilling a winning mentality. And, you know, he's he's, he's only really won the Cups out in, in, in Portugal. But he knows he's good enough to win everything. And he wants everybody else to make... Do not let me down. Do not let United down. And he's making sure that everybody else is holding themselves to the same standards that Bruno Fernandes holds himself to. And that in itself is a big reason why United are United at the moment. Top of the league by six points. We've gone and knocked Liverpool out of the cup there. They played a pretty much full-strength team with what they've got. Sure, they've had injuries this season, but they didn't really have any injuries last season. It's the way it works in football. It swings. But they, at the same time as United are firing upwards, they are just slowly creeping downwards, not doing a very good job of being champions. It's... It's, it's hard enough to win the league. But try retaining it. Try retaining it three times as well. Well, we're through. Bruno Fernandes has done it again. Paul Popper got mad in the match with the BBC. I'm not sure who I would give it to. Let me know who you would give it to in the comments below. But Bruno Fernandes, baby. Come on. He's done it again. United through. You've got to be happy with that. And that habit of winning from a losing position, it's, it's significant because it shows this shift in mentality that we have had since Bruno's arrival, and when he's on the pitch and when he's off the pitch, I'd say United are just two different teams. But when he came on the pitch there, he made the difference. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But Bruno, baby, next round of the FA Cup. Ah, and unlucky Liverpool.